and welcome back to the Sumrock Studios. I am your host, Carl Dean. Here on the show, we talk to many of our service providers, as well as several of our actual students. We hear their stories, we hear more about their business, how they can help other investors, and we just try to spread the word, spread the wealth, so everybody who watches these, not only just the students, can really find a lot of value in what we offer here in the Sumrock organization. So today, I have a very special guest with me today, Mr. Carl Waymeyer, who is the Executive Vice President of Niagara Water Conservation. Thank you for coming, Carl. Thanks for having me. I appreciate Excited your time Excited to be here. here. So Carl is, uh, is actually uh, ex Executive Vice President of Niagara Water Conservation, but also your sister company, which is SAS. That is, what's the, how does that? Sustainability Solutions, they're our partner here, okay. our service provider. Local here in so Texas. So they're the. So tell me about the difference between the two companies. Obviously, I know, but I want to share with the viewers. <clears throat> tell me about the difference of those two companies and how they work together. Yeah, no problem. So Niagara Conservation's been around for forty years, actually. So it's, wow. it's a family-owned company. It's still uh, a family, privately held business. I'm one of the shareholders. I'm kind of one of the the stepsons, you yeah. know, kind of <laughs> okay. brought in. But I, I've been with the company for twenty years. But wow. with the whole vision of the company has been water conservation for that whole 40 years. So we never really got into chasing, you know, luxury or style or anything that some of these other guys do. We focus 100 percent on results. So mm. it's all about technology, innovation. And we've always had the, the most efficient flow rates. So the lowest flow rate, but the highest performance. So everything right. we manufacture is basically state of the art, cutting edge, you know, customers take out their old three and a half gallon toilet and they put our 0.8 gallon toilet in and they, they rave about how much better ours performs, even though it's using like less than mm -hmm. a third of the water. So that's our whole mission. So better technology to flush it all down and then obviously yeah. less water saves you money. Yeah. So we got, we have everything you need to make your bathroom more efficient. So okay. we've been, we're a manufacturer. We also so talk about some of the products you manufacture specifically. Uh, man, the 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 flagship item is the Stealth toilet. That's the okay. 0.8 gallon toilet. Quiet is it quiet? That's why I call it Stealth. Or That's what? why yeah. it's called the Stealth All because right. it sneaks up on you. It's, All right. It's uh you know no one realizes that it's 0.8 gallons. So they just see the power and the technology and they think wow it's a great product. And they tell them it's 0.8 and they're like no way. They don't well, believe it. it. It has a uh, a pressurized trapway. So it's the opposite of these like airplane toilets that are really loud and they push the water. This just creates suction inside. So all the flushing actually happens inside the bowl where you don't hear it. So it hmm. makes it a quieter toilet and it gives it all its power. Wow. So we're using 0.8 gallons of water. And then instead of 0.8 gallons in the trap, we have air creating a vacuum. And that's how we're able to, to flush. Wow. And so that you said people will take out basically their three gallon toilet and replace it with one of the 0.8 gallons. So that's obviously a tremendous amount of water savings there. And they even do, they even take out their 1.6 gallon toilets now because that's still cut half, that in half, half yeah. the water savings. Wow. So we take that product, that's the foundation. Then we couple it with the, the high efficiency shower heads. Mm -hmm. So we have the, the anywhere from 1.25 gallons per minute up to two gallons per minute, which again is like between half and a third of your existing shower head. Mm -hmm. They have pressure compensating technology as well so you're getting the same forceful shower with a lot less water so we, we've really innovated that product over the last 40 years i mean we've probably sold at least 50 million of those shower heads all over the world really which is incredible wow <laughs> you know we, we don't million. charge enough though or else i would be you know you know, you know because that's why i used you guys <laughs> I'd be on my private else. plane right now yeah. and, you know we charge we, we basically are like, like I said, a manufacturer them away. in a wholesale <laughs> shop. And that's kind of our, our deals. We want, we want to get results. We're not interested in charging $30 for a shower. You know, mm -hmm. average shower, it's like $5 or something like that. Yeah. But then we manufacture the faucet aerators. Okay. So instead of changing out the whole faucet, you just change out the little tip of the, the faucet where the water comes out mm -hmm. and you put like a half gallon aerator or one gallon aerator and you know, now you're off to the races. So when you, when you add all those products together, you're going to save between 30 and 40,000 gallons per unit, wow. which equates to, you know, on average, like 30 to 60% of the water usage. And the typical payback is like, you know, between maybe on the low end, if the water rates are low, like a hundred dollars per unit up to sometimes 200 to $250 per unit. That is a massively significant number. Yeah, it's crazy. We have, our, our average ROI is less than a year. Yeah, it's crazy. So we, we, we've been 
manufacturing the products. And that's when we decided to partner with uh, the company SAS mm -hmm. here in Texas that does the installation and the services because we really wanted to find a way to get more in touch with the owners and really help them. You know, before it was just wholesaling everything out into the universe and we have mm -hmm. no idea who's buying it, who we're dealing with. And it just kind of, we felt disconnected. So we, we partnered with SAS so that we could get on the ground level with the owners, help them determine, you know, what their potential savings would be, what the return on investment would be. Understanding and, more of the strategy. Yeah, right? understand their feedback, really helped us with product development. So that's really where SAS comes in, is they're like our boots on the ground, turnkey awesome. partner where, you know, whether it's through green lending or just through the normal return on investment, they'll come in and they'll change out every single fixture in the apartment building within like a week's time, mm -hmm. including taking the old fixtures out. Yeah, it's crazy. So, so it's, it's, when I was an asset manager, obviously looking over Becker's portfolio, it's about 5,000 units here in Texas. I used to use you guys. We we previously used somebody else. And then mm -hmm. you and I had met and you kind of told me the operation and under, and I helped me understand, you know, how it was how it was all fitting together. And I remember, you know, after that point, always going with you guys because again, you, you manufactured every aspect of the material. So I would get, and I'm not saying that you do this for everybody, but when you're managing 6,000 units and you're constantly doing this, I remember getting massive discounts on like the aerators and shower heads because obviously you guys want the toilet work. You guys want the whole complex. You want to come in and do as many of these toilets as you can. We were doing the green program like on every deal. Back then it was a little bit easier to hit that mark, obviously. So it was a no brainer for us, whether it's saving us money, whether it's saving the tenants money, whatever the case may be, it was just, it was an absolute no brainer. Uh, obviously, there's environmental factors there, um, which I mean, my hats off to you guys for staying in that business and doing your part to, you know, help the world be more water conscious. Um, talk about so so when somebody calls to get a quote or get you know more information on the company, do they start with SAS or do they call Niagara first and then Niagara sends out SAS? How does that work? We prefer them to work directly with SAS just because then okay. we close the loop. Because if they call Niagara, they're just going to get put in touch with SAS. Okay, make, it makes sense. Yeah, because SAS is the one that actually does sponsor the Sumrock events. You, you guys have the banners there. Yeah. Uh, Kelly's there, who's great. She's been amazing working with a lot of the students. Um, so just to clarify that SAS, which is Sustainability Solutions, yeah. is the actual sponsor that you will see at the Sumrock events. So. Um, Let's let's continue down the road. So explain to me a little bit more. Obviously, we talk about what water conservation is, right? It's conserving water. It's doing that by producing toilets that use less water to flush, but more technology to really get the job done. So just because you're cutting down on the actual water consumption doesn't mean you're cutting down on the actual flush quality. Yeah. Correct? The biggest thing for the uh, multifamily is you're increasing the NOI and you're increasing the, the overall value of the property and the tenant comfort. I mean, let's face it, a lot of these tenants, the toilets are the that are in their bathroom are like 20 years old mm -hmm. and they're nasty. They you don't know what I mean? that often. <laughs> they're like sure. pink, you know, yeah. and then they're like, they, they, they just look old. So when you come in and you put in these brand new fixtures, mm -hmm. you Which know, is usually something your, your motive is to upgrade. increase the NOI and save water and save money. But really, you're also giving your tenants a value add to where they're like, oh, this place yeah. is nice. They just upgraded our bathroom. You know, I want to stay here. I want to yeah. keep renting from these people. Yeah, when you think about upgrading an apartment, obviously you go in there with the mindset that, you know, you're going to upgrade the lighting and plumbing fixtures. So when you factor in the fact that, well, not only am I going to upgrade these plumbing fixtures, but I'm also going to be saving myself a heck of a lot of money here, that it really is a no brainer, right? Like, yeah. I can't think of a reason not to do that. Like, what does your toilet cost in comparison to, you know, your typical toilet that someone would put in an apartment? I mean, it's very competitive. Installed, we're about $275 right now. Yeah. So that's, that's yeah, like, that's you can go to Home Depot and you'll buy, a, like, a toilet from Home Depot for that. And we're doing the whole installation. Uh, we're offering the whole turnkey service. Mm -hmm. and that's why I was saying, mentioning SAS, really wanted to contact them because they're the ones that are working with Fannie and Freddie on the green lending program. They're working with the uh, uh, energy consultants on mm -hmm. doing these audits. And then SAS has their own professional service as well that they offer as part of the package with what they're doing. So they'll come out to your property and they'll look at 100% of the units and they'll tell you exactly what fixtures you have in there, what leaks that you have, mm. which is something that, you know, most of the time the tenants are never going to tell you. So yeah. just just that part of it, identifying the leaks on your property more than pays for 
yeah, I agree. The, the work that we're going to be doing anyway. And then beyond that, we go and we change everything out. So it's let me ask you this. When when you say someone, they come out and look at all the units and they give you a quote or estimate of tell you what's going on, basically. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming people are doing this on the front end of a deal. Right. Is this before they purchase or just after they purchase or when are they getting that report? Well, we kind of work with them in a couple ways. If they're just looking at a deal, we'll do more of like a cursory review. You know, we won't do 100% of the units okay. obviously because we don't know if they're going to win the deal or Yeah. But we've been working with a lot of Brad students especially on that where they're looking at trying to make the numbers work on a deal and then we give them that whole water conservation portion of it that says, "Hey, this could this could make the deal a little bit more competitive if, yeah. if you knew this." It or, definitely can make or break a deal, 100%. So we give them that that cursory information. Once they close on the project, that's when we do the 100% and we we'll get in there and we mm -hmm. get our people looking at everything and then we we have a much more detailed uh, water conservation solution. Yeah, just knowing what kind of toilets, you know, like someone so an owner, you know, you're looking at a deal, you've accessed the units, you've taken your photos, you've done your walk just sending the photos to you guys on five, 10 units or whatever, showing the type of toilets that are in there can give you guys a very quick and easy example of, this is what we're dealing with here. This is this is exactly what we're gonna end up doing. This is pretty much what you're gonna be looking at as far as savings, right? You can you can run that off of a sample size yes, on the front definitely. end without having to go to the property and buy, you know what I mean? Like Yeah, we can be things. like accurate within maybe 70 80 percent in most cases okay because a lot of times there's it's uniformity right we go and look at five units we know the other yeah yeah 95 so, are going to be similar it's just when we do the 100 percent assessment that's when you really get down to the pinpoint of hey this cluster over here that we thought was renovated hasn't been or hey this one was they got brand new 1.28 gallon mm -hmm. toilets in there let's let's not change these out and that's one of the things that our competitors out there they're not going to do some that. of our clients as well do, they just go and change out every toilet whether yeah. you just replaced it yesterday or not and they'll change out a toilet that's flushing at 128 you're not going to get any water savings yeah. there. same thing with the shower heads and then again the leaks that's the biggest thing we find is you got a leaking faucet a leaking tub diverter you know any kind of leak in the wall uh -huh. most of the time when you're just changing toilets and shower heads out you don't you don't touch that. Nobody mm -hmm. touches that. That's like a plumbing issue. But for us, it's part of the whole water conservation package. Mm -hmm. So we want to identify that. We actually create a punch list for the client right up front saying, hey, here's the here's the leaks. And actually, we, we did a whole program with Wayner Multifamily, actually, mm -hmm. with this. And what we found. Love Wayner. Yeah. We, we, Shout out to Wayner. Yeah. Wayner. Property management. Wayner. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we used... We use this software that SAS uses called LeakAware. Mm -hmm. And what we did is we, with this software that we use out in our pre-audit, we will go through, like I said, and we look at every unit, we take pictures, we categorize everything. And we were able to identify in a lot of cases, enough of the leaks up front where they got a 25% water savings before we even put any toilets or <laughs> shower heads or anything in. Really? So it was like, you know, just this initial audit we did more than paid for, like I said, wow. almost the whole project. So it, it, it's a, it's really, to your point, a no brainer. Uh, and also with the LeakAware software, uh, what we're able to do for him and some other clients is after we finish all the work, then we have a, a baseline through the software that we capture every month so we can track any irregular the water so, so we yeah we make sure we got the savings and then if we see any spikes we know okay building 10 over there has a leak we got to go oh, wow. check it out there's an underground leak it could be you know someone jack with one of the toilets and it's running so it, it's really a uh, an innovative product that Very sas cool. has been launching it's called leak aware what uh what is the, the the front end cost on that that you know inspection or report to give to the owners is that something you guys do usually for we a fee? usually uh the hundred percent it's free of charge when you go into each so after i close on the deal and i call you and i say hey i no. really want to do this i've set aside capex for this that's that's free of charge yeah it's just basically just like any other business we're here to make money yeah, right course, we going to lose money so it's up the sales team basically gets with operations and says okay these guys are serious they want to move forward they're not just doing it willy nilly, you know, mm -hmm. doing 10 properties at a time for somebody that's just fishing. It's for people that are serious, that really want to move forward. We go out and we do that free of charge and especially a lot of it's local. So it's easy for us to, to so get So what about there. the, what about the tire kickers? What about the guys that are flipping 10 units and they, and they're clear with you? They're like, Hey, listen, 
I don't know if we're going to get these deals, but I'd like you to look at every one of them. Give me these these front end quotes before closing. Yeah, that's just, fine. That's when we just do, like I said, it's more of like a 10% okay. view of the property. But that's not a cost. There's no cost for no, that. No, there's no cost for that so There's either. no cost to do this at all. No, and there's no cost. And, the, and then the upside, it. if you do execute, right? <laughs> yeah. Assuming you do this before. Now, here's the smart play, guys. You do this before you close on the deal. You get their feedback. You try to get some toilet pictures as much as you can get from them. And you, you, you send it over to them and say, hey, look, this is what we're doing. We're planning on purchasing this deal. They come back and let you know how much you can potentially save. And then from that point forward, obviously, you're just going to have to make sure that you raise the CapEx to be able to execute the game plan, right? Yes. Let me ask you this. Has the lender ever um, paid for this in any way? Like, can you can you put this in the loan amount without raising additional CapEx? Have you ever seen that? Yeah, that's the that's the green lending program. Okay, so if, so if you get approved for the green lending program, which is also, again, <coughs> something you can do before you have even closed on the deal. Yeah, any Fannie and Freddie back loan qualifies for the green lending program. And if it does qualify, then they're willing to pay for these upgrades. Yeah, what they do, well, they they build it into the loan, right? Correct. So if it's you're, like me getting the Brimbo brake package you, on my car, it, yeah, right? Yeah, if your like, rate was four and a half percent, they're gonna charge you four and a quarter. Yeah. So you're paying for it up front, but they're paying you back over the loan life. And then they're actually uh, adding in the very beginning to like the escrow funds, the money to do the work as yep. well. So you don't have to, like you said, you're not trying to raise all this extra mm -hmm. money. But the, the savings there's insane because yeah. these, you know, you're talking almost like sometimes a quarter of a percent savings on your interest rate or 10 basis points, whatever it is. I mean, it's it's like it makes a hundreds of thousands of dollars and you're paying us maybe 80,000. So it's, yeah. you forget the water savings. I mean, that's a no brainer. And that's what's driving so much business right now. I mean, just in the last 12 months, we've installed almost half a million mm -hmm. of those stealth toilets and multifamily really? across the United States. And the numbers are just mind boggling still. And that's just from that program. But what we're seeing now is people are using that program that normally wouldn't do water conservation. They're seeing the benefit. Now they're turning around and going back into all their other properties yeah. that maybe aren't green lending and saying, here's a way to add value. Because here's the thing. A lot of people thought, hey, my tenants pay the water bill. There's no reason for me to exactly. do this Big or, thing. you know. I don't want to raise extra capital, like you said, but then they're realizing, well, wait a second, that the tenant water bill is part of the overall rental package. Yep. You know what I mean? My rent's here and then they got utilities. If I can lower those utility costs, I can raise my rents a lot easier. I'm not going to have people And you can leaving, market that. Right? You know and what I mean? That, and right? it's a green property. And like, especially now the millennials, they're all very, of our research rare. that we do as a manufacturer for retail, especially, is that the millennials, are looking for uh, green and environmentally friendly properties. They mm -hmm. don't want to go live in some unit that's like 30 year old bathroom, yeah. everything's inefficient and leaking. They want something that's high tech. And saves them money. Yeah. And is environmentally friendly, right? It's all of those factors are gonna play in big with, depending on what, you know, different de demographic it is, but with the millennials especially, like for me, I want to make sure that I'm not renting a property next to a property whose water bills are half of what mine are, right? Because yeah. again, that, all of that money, even if it goes, goes back in the tenant's pocket, it, they're, they're gonna know that. It's gonna be in the Google reviews. People are gonna talk about it. I've been there, right? I've, underst I've understood that. Um, so talk about, you know, I guess, for me, I already know the answer to this, but like what, what makes you better than the competition? Aside from the oh. fact that you manufactured the actual product <laughs> and are setting the benchmark with Fannie and Freddie, like. Yeah, I think it's, the service that we provide, okay. like I mentioned before, for 40 years, it's been about water conservation. Yeah. So we are the masters of that. So we're, we're not just, it's not a uh, transaction. You look at a lot of the competitors. I mean, really on the product side, there is no co competition. Mm -hmm. there, there's a couple of companies out there, but I mean, you guys are the, the big, we stretch. have 99 something percent of that market share in the water conservation so that that side's easy on the on the services side obviously there's a lot more competition but most of those people are are, are customers as well so you know <laughs> it's not really competition yeah we just prefer to work with sas because they're local here they've been around and they're much more focused on partnering with us to deliver like i said that that turnkey solution i mean i'll give you an example we had one of the uh Sumrock students mm -hmm. that was using the green lending program 
and they used somebody else and they installed all the toilets in their property because it was a transaction, right? Transaction, cheaper, whatever vendor. Well, it comes to be that the product that they put in didn't qualify for the green lending program. So Fannie and Frenny said, oh, no, nope, sorry, you put the wrong toilets in. You got to take all these out and put brand new toilets in. So they came to SAS and they said, what do we do here? We got a major problem. So instead of SAS or Niagara just saying, hey, we're going to, we'll just charge you, you know, a reduced fee or whatever. And we'll go out and put them in. We said, now let us go talk to Fannie and Freddie and let's see if we can get those toilets that you have in there now approved. And maybe we can do something like with a shower head or something. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between us and a lot of the. And you got that deal done. Yeah. Well, we're, it's, it's. You're it's still very balanced. close. I mean, we're dealing with the government here, but yeah. <laughs> we, we, we made a lot of progress on that. And like, that's what well, you're that's, going to bat for the students. Yeah, that's, that's just awesome. the approach we have. And the last I checked, it looks like everything's going to work out there. It's just an issue of the, uh, you know, the fiscal budgets there. But I just want to give that as an example. I mean, that's really what what sets us apart is that, you know, if, if you want to really do things right and have confidence, confidence in what you're doing, especially for yourself and a lot of you guys have investors right you got mm -hmm. a team of investors you want to deal with the best in the industry you don't yeah. want to deal with just <laughs> somebody that's got two employees and they're you know traveling all over the country just trying to make sales that's not yeah. what we're about we're about like a, a, we're on a mission you yeah. know we've been on one for a long time now so you know i go back to you guys manufactured products because some of these guys who are out here pitching that they can give a better deal are buying your guys' products so Let's talk about your distribution. You guys are partnered with like Home Depot. Uh, Lo I mean, who are you partnered with? You're partnered with huge people. I see you all over the world traveling and, and you know yeah. maintaining these partnerships. Yeah, so if, if, if someone's just looking to purchase product, like, you know, maybe 10 at a time or 20 or as they, as they break them, we obviously, we partner, our biggest partners with the Home Depot brands of companies. So now they have Home Depot Pro, which was Interline, Wilmar, uh, you know, those companies, they're a huge partner of ours. They directly import right from China. So they have everything in their distribution centers. They can deliver usually within two business days to any uh, property. A lot, of, a lot of you guys are using them already for maintenance, repair, and operations. So mm -hmm. they're our big MRO maintenance repair partner. They just don't have the same service that I'm talking about yeah. with the, uh, the SAS, but... I just think it validates, honestly, but the company yeah. as itself, you know, having partners like that. Obviously, you, when you say that you control the market, I mean, it's that's pretty serious. That's that's, yeah. a, that's a pretty firm statement. So it's like I wanted to make, make sure I pointed out the fact that you do have these elaborate partnerships with all kinds of large, you know, publicly traded companies. Correct. Yes, definitely. So um, awesome. So let's talk about typical savings. So let's just use an example deal here. Let's say I have a hundred unit deal. Make numbers easy, you know, 1970s vintage deal, you know, my water bills, what, what's it going to be? Uh, let's say it's $200 per unit per month. That's $200,000 in water bills, you know, old toilets, obviously, you name it. What is going to be my typical savings for something like that? Well, if you, yeah, I mean, and I'm going to get my calculator out so I yeah. can do some math here. <clears throat> I'm going to make it difficult for you, though. I'm going okay. to add a couple of variables it's okay. here because okay. it's it's not usually like if it's if you're talking anything that's like in the 70s or earlier, you're going to save almost 60 percent on your okay. water bill. So people, you know, I think the bill would probably be closer to like 80,000 or 100,000 for a property like that. Okay. But you're so going to use 100,000. But you're going to save, you know, you're going to come back and your bill is going to be anywhere from. 40 to 50 K when we're done. Okay. And you're going to spend per month. Oh, that's the yearly savings, right? You said oh, it's, it's, okay. it's a hundred thousand a year. It's, you know, 40 K to 50 K total. It's, yeah. So let's just so do you, the math. you cut it in half, man, or just 60%. Let's just say we cut a hundred thousand dollar water bill into $50,000. Okay. I'm going to times point zero. I'll be very conservative seven, which I don't know if you found a seven cap lately, but if you have, please let me know because I don't see them out here. I'm not going to tell you, but <laughs> <laughs> so that is a, uh, that is a massive amount of savings. Let's do this the right way here. Divided by 0 0.07 equals that's a $714,000 kick on the back end. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So you're selling your deal for 2 million bucks, right? You do the water conservation. Now you're selling your deal for $2.7 million. 
that's how big of a drastic impact this can have on some of these properties, which just blows my mind. That's why I would. That every single person is well, not doing this on the, the front The sophisticated end. ones are. Like, yes, if are. you take the top 50 property management companies in the country, every single one of those people, if you go into our system, are all in there and they're all highly, highly active to where they, they basically just, as they buy properties, like 10 at a yeah. clip or 20 at a clip, they just send the list of to course. our customers and they're like, hey, we want to change these out. They don't even look at who pays the water bill. They don't look at any of that None stuff because they just sense. know that, you know, regardless, utility bills are going up, yep. man. Like everywhere they're going up 7 to 10%. There wasn't a job that we did or a deal that we purchased when I was with SPI that we didn't send your guys' way. I mean, all of Brad Sumrock's deals that his, he has with the students have all had water conservation. So if you're in any of those deals that Brad has done uh, with SPI, those have water conservation done on them. So let's talk about the next variable. So you take 1970 up to about 2000 and six ish. Okay. Those properties are going to save between 45 and 30 percent. Okay. Because you'll find they have a lot more of the 1.6 gallon toilets, but most of them are leaking or flushing more. So you got a hundred thousand dollar water bill. We're going to drop it down to like 60 K something like that. Okay. If you have a lot of leaks though, we could go even further, but you, but you'll see between 30 and 45 percent on those kind of properties. So you guys don't do the irrigation though? No, we don't. Because a lot of these properties don't have very, like the B and C class, no. especially, there's no. There's no irrigation. Yeah, there's You're not. right. You're very, very right. <laughs> it's uh, like, uh, once you start getting into those kind of properties, you know, usually they're, they're, they renovate them so often that there's not a chance. So. Yeah. So if you fast forward now, you take properties that are built after 2006 up until Prior about 2012 to 2013, now you're talking we'll get about 30% average savings. Still very significant. Anything after that, then we got to be really careful because you got to, you know, a lot of them have these new laws where they put the high efficiency toilets in. You're still going to get a water savings, but now you're talking maybe 18 to 25%. And that's where you got to really look and make sure that the numbers work. Yeah. And, but in most Nobody's cases, swapping them out when they're that new. The yeah. Deals are that new. In yeah. most cases, fifty percent of the time it makes sense. But and I'll, I'm sure, and I've seen the deals that you guys are going after, and I've invested mm -hmm. in some of the same deals. Nobody's looking at you know, no, uh, on a regular no. basis, properties that are five or six year no. old. We're all going after the sixties, seventies, eighties, you know, properties because that's where all the meat is, right? That's where you can make the most money. And one hundred percent of the time, it makes sense to at least call you guys and see yeah. what you're looking at. It never makes sense to not call and have a water conservation estimate done, never. Well, exactly, because we've had properties that were built two years ago that we've gone in and we've done our water audit and we've saved them 30, 40%. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, you guys come back and because say, Because hey, we go in and we go, wait a second. You know, Actual. Yeah, we, we, well, what happens is a lot of times people put in these one six toilets and the manufacturer just puts a little flapper in there, like the thing that makes it flush, and they put a little dial on it so that it flushes one six. Well, if you take that dial out, the thing flushes like three gallons. Mm. So even new properties sometimes will go in and we'll be like measuring the water usage. Yeah, because if they swap out the guts, then... Yeah, and that's what happens. They get they leak because the water yep, you know, is hard or whatever. So we can still save money. It's just, again, we gotta, gotta take a look at it. Yeah, yeah, that's very interesting. So uh, you guys have been sponsoring the some rock events since February. So we're in, we're in the end of June. You guys came on your first event was in February. Mm -hmm. um, talk about what you got, what your, what's been your experience with the group? I mean, have you guys got a bunch of business from the group? I mean, how's that worked out for you guys? Well, actually it's funny cause we have all these sponsorships all over the world and we mm -hmm. work with all these like, you know, the NAA, all mm -hmm. these big companies. Yeah, we're going to NAA this week. Yeah, we're headed there. <laughs> And I was telling our marketing team and our team today, actually, we had a meeting. We're going over like our funnel and the leads and who we're working with. And the Summer Rock group just is killing it, man. <laughs> like they're doing more business and more deals than like all these other people combined. We have we, they're they're active. They're into it like they, they get it. So that's been the biggest surprise for me is that, you know, when I'm talking to the students, they're not just blowing me off like most of these guys do because they just want to go get to the beer line or whatever. Like yeah. they really care about because making... they're not the owners. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. They're working for the owners, <laughs> yeah. but unless you're like stroking them a check or taking them yeah. golfing or out on the yacht, yeah. you're not getting in their wheelhouse. Yeah, usually the owners are way hidden away somewhere in Chicago or whatever, and like you know. But but here, but the Sumrock Group, all the owners are there. And then then you got the whole passive community, which are all 
trying to learn to become owners as well. So it's mm-hmm. just like a really awesome family type environment. And, you know, I personally have come to a lot of the events, you know, normally I'll send the the team, but I've been trying to come to as many as possible just yeah. because I love the community and I love what Brad's doing. And, you know, he's really making a difference and making an impact. And you can just see it in the students. I mean, they're yeah. on the ball. So we look forward to working with many, many more to come. I know That's each awesome. event's getting bigger and more people yeah. are getting involved. But this, this, this warms my heart, I'll be honest, man, <laughs> because I know you guys have a good product and you, you have a great service. You're personally a good friend of mine. I mean, I just look at this like this is like the perfect situation where I'm glad that we're able to help one another and that you guys are seeing tremendous value from that. And I hope that some of the sponsors or people who are considering sponsoring hear that message and, and really give it give it some more consideration because, you know, this is a group of very serious, sophisticated investors. And there's probably a billion dollars in assets in any given, you know, in the room at any given one of our uh, rat race events or anything, you know, or even a student event. It's just unbelievable to, to see a group of investors who are purchasing seven hundred million dollars in real estate mm. and deals that are ten million each. I mean, that's a lot of deal flow, man. That's yeah. a lot of deal flow, and that's a lot of C class assets. That's a lot of renovations. That's a lot of, you know, I mean, you name it. it. These deals are not like the A class deals where you get them and there's like very little movement or changes or changing the paint or whatever. It's you get them, you need signage, you need landscaping, you need uh, concrete, you need uh, carports, water conservation, left energy. Con- I mean, they need literally everything. Yeah. So I just, I'm, I'm always trying to express that to as many people as I can, because I think there's just a massive opportunity here for people in your space, you know, anybody who services that, you know, multifamily industry. So I really appreciate the, that this thing is working out. Um, so we talked about kind of who pays. Typically you're gonna raise the money yourself for this stuff, but if you do, you know, apply for the green program, you do fit the bill, they are willing to come to the table. However, that being said, a lot of these deals are, the debt service is tight, so you're probably not going to be able to, in this market, add that in. I'm not going to say always. I'm saying in the DFW market where the cap rates are right now, where the yeah. debt service is and all these things, there's a lot of factors that are kind of working against you to be able to put this kind of uh, raise included in your loan. Um, but you can, again, there's still a lot of value there to be able to do this and raise it on the side. And you look at this water conservation and compare it to carports, or compare it to backyards, and the savings and the, the NOI increase is so much more dramatic and also so much more exact, right? You can really get hard numbers on what you're saving month after month, year after year versus, you know, some of these backyard units went for 50 bucks a pop. Some of these backyard units went for 30 bucks. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's much more of an exact science. So it's, it's really a no-brainer. So let's talk about how people can contact you or SAS. Who should they contact? When should they contact them? And what are the contact? What's the contact information for that company? I think the easiest thing is is to go to the SAS website because we have a lot of the information there, and then we have a uh, kind of like a capture section where you can fill your information in. Mm-hmm. The phone number is there as well. The website for that is sasconserve.com. Yeah. So and it's just, also on the student website. So these, yeah. they are a top <clears throat> service provider for the Sunrock organization. So if you are looking for a quick access link, access link to their site. You'll find that on the Sum Rock student website under the tab that says top service providers. You will find SAS there. So, and I can give you uh, our email sales or? manager's email here as well. There that we way, go. if you guys want to just reach Absolutely. out direct, you know, a lot of people, want, a lot of people want to take action and get in the uh, up. So, I'll give you her email as well. Her name is Kelly Stinson. She's mm-hmm. the national sales manager. And her email is K Stinson, which is S T I N. S O N at S A S conserve.com. Yep. And I will leave that also in the notes below. You have a link to their website. You'll have Kelly's email. Uh, and yeah, this is, so we'll be at the events. I'll personally be at some of them actually going to be attending some of the mastermind events as well. So I, I, I hear, I see there's a lot of value coming out of that. Uh, not only for our business, but personally, I'm also, you're also an, an investor. investor as well. So I, I see a lot of value in that. So I, I'm going to be attending the mastermind. So if you guys are going to be attending those as well or thinking about attending, that's a great opportunity to network and discuss this in more detail mm-hmm. with really someone like my, people there myself, masters. because, you know, like you mentioned, I'm all over the world. So it, it's difficult for me to get to all the 
the other student events, but I, I've made a commitment at least to Brad for the, the masterminds now because mm -hmm. I just see that those are That's awesome. the value coming out of those are just incredible. Yeah, and those those guys are moving some some real doors. I mean, they're they're yeah. every person in that mastermind I think has a thousand doors or more, but. Excellent, man. Carl, thank you so yep. much for coming Appreciate on. Appreciate it. Appreciate your time, man. Yeah, thank you. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much once again for tuning into the Sumrock Studios here for another episode with Carl Waymeyer from SAS and Niagara Water Conservation. We hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Please like or comment below if you have any questions. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to Brad's YouTube channel. So hit that subscribe button. Tune in. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'm not sure who it's going to be, but it will be someone just as worthy as Carl here. And they will be sharing just as many gold nuggets for you to help save some money and perform better with your assets. Until next time, thank you so much. Enjoy. Enjoy.